Now, in this video, we're going to actually create our own character. So we're going to start from a, from a specific character and then we're going to adapt that to make our own character right inside of the toolkit in here. So we're not going to use any external assets, any external images. We're simply going to do this all inside of the toolkit. Go ahead and pick any of the elements that you would like to start off from. So if you, you want to create uh, maybe a different mouse to the one that is included, you can start from a mouse. Or if you would like to create something that is similar to, to any of these elements, simply select that element and start from that. I'm going to start off with this dog. To do this, I'm actually going to start from the head. So I'm going to go to the head studio. Since then, after we, we create the head, we can go ahead and adapt the body to that head. Let's start off from the head studio now. And I'm going to start by doing the shape, basically. So let's start from, from the first features in here and go down one by one and create something new. So let's go to the head properties. And in here, from the head properties, you can, of course, give it a different color. I'm not going to touch any colors from now. I'm just simply going to change the shapes and then adapt the colors at a later stage. The head proportions, I'm going to, this is the y-axis in here. Simply click on the number in here and drag around. And I'm going to make it a little bit like wider. So I decrease the height. The height is good. The width is good in here. So and the head round is I'm going to make this fully round in here, just like that. Let's close this. Now, of course, we will be covering most of the features while doing this, this character in here. But just in case we don't cover something, you can head over to, to the user guide where you will find everything covered in there, what all these features do. Of course, most of the features are quite self-explanatory, so you simply can even test them out. So simply change the color in here, for instance, ear size. You can simply drag that around and see what it does, basically. So most of the features are like that. So let's go ahead and change the ears. I'm going to see what features I have in here. So three, one, three. Just give them whole numbers in here to see what we have in here. The two was that one. I like this one, so I'm going to go with this, the fourth one. Increase a little bit their size. Right now, as you can see, the ears are in front of the face. So I'm going to untick this position here in front of face so that they go to the back. And then we can adjust their size and distance between ears to choose where they are. I'm going to rotate them as well. So minus 35 is good, 35. Increase that a little bit the, the distance as well. I like how the ears are in there, so I'm going to close those. And let's go to the face texture. I would like to add some texture maybe behind this eye in here. If we start adding the texture in there, of course the color is quite off in here, so let me just change this color just for this one so we can maybe see it more properly. And as you can see for the textures, we have the left texture is actually repeated, mirrored on the right. And with this, you can create almost any texture just using the textures that we have in here. So as you can see, we can resize, we can increase, decrease the distance between them. And as you can see, you can create different shapes when you combine these textures. Let's maybe reposition the height in here. But what I need is like a texture behind this ear. So let's see how we can create that. The only problem is that in this case, since it is mirror, you're always going to have this like in the center in here. A small trick that you can use in here is that we can hide one of these textures. So if I just want it behind the first eye in here and not on the left one, we can go ahead in here, click this shy button in here. And if we scroll down, we will find a layer named face texture. So click on these and see which one you want to hide. So in this case, I would like to hide this one, which is the, they are named the same, but this is for the left texture in here. So simply untick that. Of course, make sure to tick this back on if you are going to, if you would like to use the mirrored version of this. So, but this is a, a nice trick if you would like to use it just on white one side. So I have hidden that, then I can, go back and click the shy switch in there and now let's go back to the head studio and continue adjusting this 
Now if we increase the distance between textures, this one is not visible since we have hidden it, but we only have, have this one. I quite like the position of this, maybe a different texture would be, would be good, maybe if I find something a little bit, maybe something round, as you can see there are many textures in here. So I'm after a circle, so that's, that's perfect. And I'm going to increase a little bit the size, just like that. That's basically for the texture, I'm going to leave that as it is. And now let's go to the hair. So you have this feature for, for hair as well, if you'd like to add. So for instance, if you'd like to make a line or something like that, you can. There are different hairstyles in here. Of course, you can even add your own and you can even adapt the ones that you have in here. So I'm going to go to the first one in here. I'm going to give it the same color of the skin. And now I'm going to decrease its size and reposition it. As you can see, like this, you can like create just a texture down here or even just create some, some little, a little texture detail in here. So I have, I have just decreased its size and put it um, right above its head in here just to create that little bit of hair right over there. So that's perfect. We can move on to the next part, which is the eyes. And for this, I'm going to decrease the, the size of the eyes. Something like this would be, would be good, I think. The height, I think, is good. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And maybe just increase a little bit the distance. Or even like they are, it's, it's quite good, actually. So pupil color, I'm going to modify the colors afterwards. So pupil size, I'm going to increase the pupil size. Just like that. And there's this feature pupil Y size, you can increase this or decrease this to create a different sh shape for the pupil. So for instance, if you are creating a cat, this would be ideal to do like that. In this case, since we are doing a dog, can maybe just make it slightly elongated, just like it. Then there's a section named eye shape. And from here, we can modify the position of the upper eyelids like this. And you can even rotate them. And like this, you can create various, various shapes. Of course, you can even modify these from the, from the rig, but from here you can animate them. And from here is mostly just to shape your eyes. So in this case, for the, I would like them to be completely round. So I'm going to position the lower eyelids to zero and the rotation, I'm going to make that to zero as well. So the next thing is the whiskers. So actually before I do the whiskers and the, and the mouth and nose, I'm going to go to, over to the chin and I'm going to select the style that I like from here. So I like this style, so I'm going to use that one. Reposition, perfect, and maybe resize it just slightly so that it, it is how I, would like that. Perfect. And then the nose. So you can go ahead and check the styles that you have in here by scrubbing through these numbers. So something like this would be great. So I'm going to use that one. The position is actually quite good. Maybe a little bit higher, just like that. And the size, I like it how it is. So let's close the nose and open the mouth. And as you can see now, right now the mouth is hidden. That's because it's hidden behind the chin. We can take this off from here, place mouth behind the chin so that it is visible once again. I like the mouth how it is. Maybe we can just increase it the size just slightly. Finally, we can add the whiskers. I like this style, of course not in that color, so I'm going to actually change this color right away, just so I can see it properly and scale them down. Perfect, we have the shape. I quite like how this is looking. So the only thing that I would like to do is change a little bit the color so that we have something new. So let's go to the head properties first. We can simply pick any color from here. I actually have the color code for what I would like to create written in here, so I'm going to go ahead and, and type them right over here. So now let's go to the ears. 
for the ears I'm I'm going to use the same color of the of the head for both of these but I'm going to make uh, color the, the inside color a little bit lighter just like that while the other one we can make it a little bit darker something like this perfect now let's jump to the face texture for this one I'm going to write the code in here very quickly click OK and we can move to the to the next one the hair I'm just giving going to give it the head color just like that the eyes I'm simply going to modify the pupil color so that it is the same as the heads or actually you can even make it black the whiskers I'm going to make them the same color of the of the head nose once again the same color of the head or maybe a little bit darker so something like that perfect and let's recolor the chin first and then we can do the mouth later the chin for this chin I would like it to be like a, a skin color so like this perfect and uh, we can go back to the to the mouth so the lips color of course you can adjust this lip size in here I'm just going to make the lips the same as the chin so that they are kind of invisible and the mouth I'm just going to make it a little bit more vibrant more pink and you have the tongue color in here I'm going to make it like that perfect so I really like how this is looking in here let's move on to the next video where we can see how we can change the body shape now to fit this hairstyle.